All people come to him, come to the way of Sultan Rabia, most honored one and most glorified one. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أيها المسلمون أيها المؤمنون يا أمة النبي المصطفى عليه أفضل الصلاة والسلام O Muslim brothers and sisters everywhere There are too many issues that has to be discussed and it was discussed and now it's coming up Nabi coming from At-Tanabbu the name Prophet is coming from prophesize or prophetic predict predict what's going to happen in the future and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ulumul awwaleen wal akhireen and he is observing his ummah he is alive no way Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam no way to think that he is not able to see our what we are doing in his hadith or in his Quran there are evidences in, in the Holy Quran and in hadith there are evidences that he predicted and he said that I observe the amal of my ummah I look after them because I, they call, I, it is my concern about my ummah how they are going to do in dunya in order that they will be benefiting in akhirah. He said, Tu'aradu alayya a'mal ummati. I observe the amal of my ummah. And Prophet is looking. Allah said in Holy Quran, Surah At-Tawbah, وَأَكُلِ عَمَلُوا فَسَيَرَ اللَّهُ عَمَلَكُمْ وَرَسُولُهُ والمؤمنون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقل اعملوا فسيرى الله عملكم ورسوله والمؤمنون وستردون إلى عالم الغيب والشهادة فينبئكم بما كنتم تعملون In the ayah in some of the ayat before it Allah said in Holy Quran, وَقُلِ اعْمَلُوا فَسَيَرَ اللَّهُ عَمَلُكُمْ وَرَسُولُهُ And he stopped there. In that ayah which was read just now, he added on it, وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ Means Allah and his Prophet, in the first ayah, Allah and his Prophet are going to see, they are seeing what you are doing. فَسَيَرَ اللَّهُ عَمَلَكُمْ وَرَسُولُهُ if some people might interpret different or explain it, but we have the also the ability to interpret it in the way that we see fit to this time. فَسَيَرَ اللَّهُ عَمَلَكُمْ وَرَسُولُهُ Allah and His Prophet going to see 
indicate the future, but the future is is that moment that we are in it is it the present, and that moment when it finish the other moment comes it become a future, the future one. So means Prophet sallallahu always looking into the the present and the future that you are doing. It is very subtle meaning here. It's a hidden meaning there. That Prophet Wasallam can waiting for you he, in every moment there is a present, there is a past, there is a present, there is future. So he is in the present as soon as the present finishes a moment the one which is in the future comes to replace it. So the present become past, the future become present, and there will be another future. So, Allahu amalakum wa rasulu. Allah and His Prophet is going to see your amal, means at every moment there is present, there is past, there is present, there is future, which Prophet can see. So he is looking, he is seeing. But unfortunately, Alam today is so limited. And Prophet has mentioned that in, in his hadith. He said in one of his hadith, لا سد سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول أنس بن مالك هي سد لا أحدثنكم حديثا لا تجدون أحدا يحدثكم بعدي أنس بن مالك said I will going to tell you a hadith that no one after me will going to tell you about it I heard it from Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم They want us, 15 years ago, 1500 years ago, 1500, Prophet ﷺ wants to show us what is happening in the future. He said, in the min ashrat is sa'a, as Anas ibn Malik mentioned, that he heard Prophet ﷺ, from the signs of the last days, why Prophet wants to mention for us the last days? Because he is concerned about us. He wants us to be on the right track. He is carrying. When he mentions something and we heard it, something comes to the heart. If you have been in a wrong way, you say, Astaghfirullah. You, they bring you back into the right way. What he said, too many people, they say technology, technology, technology. That is not, the scientific knowledge is not the knowledge <coughs> that it is required from a mu'min, from a Muslim. What is required from a Muslim is a understanding of the ahadith and doing accordingly in order in the day of judgment to be saved. So Anas ibn Malik once heard it from Prophet وسلم, that hadith and he is saying to us Inna min al -ilm. from the sign of the last days the alim will disappear and yadhab yadhab means goes goes and doesn't come back, finish. When knowledge goes, ignorance comes. And jahl, ignorance, will come out, will appear. In, a, in another hadith, continuation of this hadith, he said, وَيُشْرَبُ الْخَمْرِ and wine will be drunk. Alcohol, people will be drinking. Wayafshu zina. Adultery 
will be everywhere. Is it happening or not? Yes. 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 People are drinking or not? Yes. yes. Zina is yes. going on or not? Yes. Less men, more women. And this is a reality. They made a lot of statistics in Europe and they found that for every 40 or 50 women, one man. There are countries. <coughs> and Prophet وسلم, is saying, حتى يكون قيم خمسين امرأة رجل واحد. For every 50, as they found in statistics that they have done, for every 50 women, one man. That's happening. And this Prophet Sallallahu is mentioning it 1500 years ago, which what we are seeing today. عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول It's confirming another hadith from another narrator Sayyidina Abu Hurairah He said that Prophet, he heard Prophet say لا تقوم الساعة حتى يقبض العلم this, this, The day of judgment will not appear until the knowledge, the علم will be lifted up يعني there will be no more ulama, scholars. Hey, today there is no more scholars. Very few here and there that are traveling, doing their best in order to bring people back to normal. But the majority of people are running away. And majority, the scholars, before, I was saying last time, before, many hundreds of years before, the knowledge was Islam. People were studying Islam. You go to a university, there is, you study only Islamic Sharia. And what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said. That was the ilm. Tafsir al-Quran, Tafsir al-Ahadith, al-Fuqah, al-Sharia, al-Aqidah, al-Iman, al-Ihsan, Al Islam, that's what they were studying. Today, that is a secondary issue to study this. People studying technology. We are not saying don't study technology, but spare time to your akhirah. So, this is, this is from the days, from the signs of the last days. And now I will mention one hadith and we show you a picture. You have the picture? How Prophet knew that? From the picture you will be amazed. They can see the picture, you can come there and see the picture. See it Tahir. Yeah. So that picture, if anyone interested, can come see and go. See? Don't send it to him. Those are on the internet, you can see it. It's it's there, huh? And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 
he said in his hadith, this book is only a hadith of the last days. As soon as the word of the fitan and the word of the word and the word of the word. How Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam knew about this when he was being asked by Jibreel alayhi salam when Jibreel came as a as a man knocking at the door look adab they don't enter directly they knock Jibreel is knocking at the door of Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam where he was sitting with his sahaba Ashab al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was dressed, he was coming in the desert, and when someone comes in the desert, he has a lot of dust on it. Shadid al-Bayad al-Siyab. He was, the whiteness of the clothes, very strong white, means there is no, any dirt on them. Sahaba were surprised. And he prophet is, uh, and he asked Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The hadith is long. He asked him about Islam, iman, and ihsan. So Prophet explained to him, and then he asked him, "فأخبرني عن الساعة." Tell me about the day, the last days. What what's going to happen? Or tell me the time of it. When it's going to happen? The day of judgment. Call, the Prophet said, "Mal masulu bi alam min al-sail." The one who is being asked that he doesn't know more than the one who asked. So means don't ask me that question. Adab of Prophet ﷺ, he made himself as if he is, doesn't know. Although the whole hadith is he predicting what's going to happen. So he knows when is the time, but he, Adab of Allah, that is for, from unseen, ghaib, he left it. So he said, you know better. I don't know more than you, Ya Jibreel. Then he al فأخبرني عن أماراتها. Give me its signs. What are the signs? He said, أن تلد المرأة ربتها ربتها وأن ترى الحفاء العراء العالة رعاع الشاة يتطاولون في البنيان. You are going to see. The, the, the woman going to give birth to a child, to her son, and the son is going to treat her as a maid. So the sons, in, this, in, the, in the last days, are going to, to, to see their mothers as if they are maids and slaves, to do everything for their children. And the child is cursing her. The second, and to see the, the barefooted, naked Bedouin, those who in the desert taking the sheep or the goats to graze wherever they find something, They are competing in building higher buildings from each other. So, what is that meaning? He said, 
واما المقصود من تطاول الرعاة في البنيان فنقل حافظ ابن حجر عند عند شرحه لحديث جبريل عن القرطبي انه قال بان يستولي اهل الباديه على الامر they explained it ابن حجر from القرطبي that the bedouin the people of the desert are going to take control of the government they are going to to take control in their hands and those people who are educated or they are better off they will be thrown out and ahlul badia the people of the desert will take over they took over or not and it is not us, it is 1500 years ago explanation. وَيَتَمَلَّكُ الْبِلَادِ بِالْقَهْرِ وَتَكْثُرْ أَمْوَالُهُمْ And they will control and take the country by force. And their money is going to be too much that no one can count it. More than Karun. You know Karun. And all their concern وَتَنْصَرِفْ هِمَامُهُمْ إِلَى تَشِيدِ الْبُنْيَانِ And all their concern is to build buildings. And not only to build the buildings, they decorated and they build one compete with the other in building higher building than the other as you saw in the picture you saw in the picture that most of the buildings are above the clouds in the gulf above the cloud and you can see the buildings according to the picture the the buildings on their top, one higher than the other, all over the city. You can see it completely because the picture was being taken from either by an aeroplane or by a high rise mm -hmm. that someone is standing on top there taking picture of the whole city and he sent that picture over to say that the hadith of Prophet wasallam. 1500 years ago is, is came, came to reality through that picture. وقال الإمام النووي that they blow his, uh, his grave recently and they said that's shirk so they blow it completely up He said, "Mana ahlul, mana anna ahlul badiya wa ashbahu hum min ahlil haja wal faqa." The people of the desert. He gave another interpretation. Is not only the people of the desert, but also the poor people of the country. They take over the country. Through what? Through parliaments. You know through parliaments? Means they come in, they win the election. Husalatul Qawm. The lowest type of people. They take over and they control the government. And the, and the and dunya will be given to them. The keys for everything, for the wealth of the country, it will be given to them. Now, the most richest countries are the Muslim countries. Through the oil that they are finding in their countries. Until they begin to build high building, high rises. 
And Prophet said, Yatatawalun means they compete who is going to build higher than the other. And this is what we are seeing mostly in the desert countries. There is in Malaysia two buildings. There is in Hong Kong, I think, and in Japan. There is in America and there is in Europe one or two. But in the Gulf, too many as the pictures shows to you above the cloud. وذهب التويجري إلى اختيار الأخير حيث قال التطاول يكون بتكسير طبقات البيوت to compete in in high buildings means more flat floors going up and up and up and up more this is what is happening in our time because of too much money that is in these countries they have May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us always with under the love of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he, Abu Huraira said, the continuation and we finish, لا تقوم الساعة حتى يتطاول الناس في البنيان The day of judgment will not come until the sign of high rises to be that people will compete in high rises this is what we are seeing or not yes. 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 yes so what we are waiting then for this for more signs already is a big sign made by jibril uh, mentioned by jibril and by prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam jibril was asking prophet was answering so this is we are seeing obvious Leave the other one, the other uh, hadith for the timing. That hadith is enough for everyone to make sure that he is praying, he is fasting, he is he, he is giving zakat, he is doing hajj if he can, and and to have better behaviors and good manners. This is what. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wants from us and we are by the time of the last days we have to be very careful and the last days Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said there is going to be confusions like fitna like big chunk of dark nights be careful don't interfere don't let people to recruit you in anything. You keep to yourself, you keep to your family, you keep to your country, live in peace and harmony, and don't try to listen to this one and that one. It's enough for us one hadith to bring us back to the normal track. Today there are many people who says, okay, uh, this is okay, and this one time, and this... No, not even one time. Because one time leads you to two times. And two times leads you to three times. And then you cannot control. People today, they are doing things that it become, you become addicted to it, and you cannot leave it. Then you have a problem like people addicted to eat their nails. Uh -huh. So you, always you see them hungry. <laughs> they are eating their nails. I heard from, may Allah bless his soul, Grand Sheikh, Sheikh Abdullah Dagestani. He said, Awliyaullah, they, they are able to see 
they are able to see jinn. Not everyone can see, but it is a fact that it is there. The jinn are there, and in Sayyid Nasrullah was one who is for uh -huh. controlling, controlling them. them. So, and in the time of Prophet Sallallahu they entered into the statues and they begin to uh, to speak to confuse the people that they become Muslim. They entered in Hubal and uh, uh, and the others two or three. So he said that devils, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent them heavy, the, the uh, heat of the sun, it's coming on them. Allah made that that part of some part of the sun that is comes on devils to burn them. So where they hide themselves from the sun is under the nails. He said that's why don't have long nails where shaitan can go and yatafayya. Take shade, take shade under the nails. Anyone eating the nails, he is tasting the dirtiness of shaitan. People, they eat their nails. So be careful from eating your nails. And when you eat your nail, the bad characters that shaitan is carrying, it goes on you. So don't make your nails long to be eaten cut them and keep them normal today they are people are being trapped in many kind of shaitanic ways may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and may Allah bless us bi hurmat al habib bi hurmat al fatiha This book uh, is being published in Dar al Asima al Mamlak al Arabiya Saudiya. So it is published in Saudi Arabia. So it means all the ahadith has been checked. And this is, we are using this book. Because no one can say, oh, this hadith is this or that hadith is that. So we took the Saudi edition in order that we can make sure that everyone accepts. Wa min Allahi tawfiq wa hurmat al Go and rest. <coughs>